Hello guys, Mr. Dalaman2050 here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to underclock your processor. Now you're probably thinking, why on earth would you want to do that? We all want to overclock and have mighty PCs and stuff. Now the reason I am making this video today is because many people's laptops under uh, not under heat overheat, and you have to turn off. You lose your work, and yeah, you're pretty pissed off about it. So today I'm so today I'm going to be showing you how to underclock your processor. It's helpful if your laptop overheats. Quite simple. Now, I'm not going to go in into much depth in the this video in terms of showing you how to properly underclock, but this one will, this guide will show you how to underclock your PC so it won't overheat. That's all that matters, I suppose. And yeah, say if for some strange reason you buy a new cooler, uh, or maybe your laptop stops overheating suddenly, uh, you might want to bump it back up uh, to the stock uh, frequencies. And yeah, it would be nice and simple to do. So basically, to underclock, you want to go all the way to this power icon down here and click on more power options now uh, you want to click on the plan you're using and you want to click change power plan or change plan settings whatnot and click change advanced power settings and once you've clicked on there if you scroll all the way near enough to the bottom you'll see something something called processor power management and what you want to do is actually maximize the maximum processor state, the system cooling policy, and the minimum processor state. Now, make sure you put your processor power management, um, the minimum processor state, on 0% from battery and unplugged in. And then for the system cooling policy, you put the on battery and plugged in to active. Now, this next one, maximum processor state, is where you get to underclock and stuff like that. Now, Basically, if this is at 100%, your processor will be running at what it's supposed to run at, yeah? So, say I, for example, in my laptop that I'm using today, has an Intel Core i3 370M. It's it's clocked at 2.4 GHz, or as, you might want, or as you might want to call it in MHz, it's uh, 2400 MHz. Now, if I change this to, say, 50%, so if I just type in 50% now, if I change it to 50%, I'm not exactly going to be getting 2.4 gigahertz. I, I will be getting exactly half of that. And, um, you know, sometimes you'll think, um, well, well, so sometimes what will happen is that, say if you put it to like 51 or 52 or 53, it might not change because your processor can only kind of underclock itself in certain kind of increments. Yours will be different to mine, and it will be different, say, if your processor have an AMD or an Intel. But, by changing this to a lower number, it will underclock. And if you put this to zero, now I'm just going to say physically your processor state cannot be on zero percent. And if you put it to zero percent, uh, in my head theoretically, the minimum can only be about twenty percent, twenty five percent. So please do bear in mind that putting it to zero percent, your PCs, your PC is going to start up, and it's not going to be as slow as you think it's going to be. Because under underclocking will make your PC slow up or slow it from overheating. So yeah, you change that number to a lower number, and it'll underclock it. Man's actually underclocked at the moment. Man's now running at one point. Uh, 9 gigahertz instead of 2.4 because quite frankly it's what about 30, 30 degrees in this room it's pretty warm um, it's pretty warm for the 2nd of August and uh, yeah I'm actually in the UK as well so if any of you are watching this in Spain or in uh, California or something like that um, yeah I completely understand why so yeah you want to be changing your maximum power state to a lower percentage and it'll underclock once you're done you click OK and it'll be underclocked now just for you tech guys if you're wondering what frequency it actually has underclocked to. Now, once you click OK, it's instant, it's underclocked automatically, and when you turn your PC off and turn it back on, it's still going to stay there, it's still going to stay underclocked until you change the uh, power plan. Now, these are a few programs you can use. Now, um, these two products are from the CPU ID collection. You can download these both for free from uh, their website. Um, but yeah, you can get many hardware monitors that are monitor stuff like the temperatures and stuff. So as you can see, my temperature now is 40 degrees, it didn't, no, it isn't 40 degrees. Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, where is it? Yeah, it is 40 degrees, what am I about? Yeah, that's kind of cool in my head. So, that doesn't show you what frequency it is, so we're just going to close that one. Now, you might have seen this program before, and especially if you're into IT, you'll know what this program is. CPU Z. Now, you want to be looking at this core speed here, yeah? So, mine now is 1995 megahertz, and that, quite frankly, is 1.9 gigahertz, yeah? Um, I'm not going to insult you in shell intelligence, you know how to convert gigahertz to megahertz, it's really simple. Uh, just move the decimal place to the left twice. That'd be it, not twice, three times, sorry. God, I've made myself look like an idiot now, I don't know what I'm doing. You want to change it twice, so the dot there, you want to be moving it one, two, three. 
three places, wonderful. And then you'll get it in gigahertz. So 1,900 um, megahertz is 1.9 gigahertz. Now that's the clock. But that's the core speed. That, that's what it's running at. That's what all cores will be running. As you can see to the right hand side, I actually have a little desktop gadget here. Mine tells me up here the core clock, and uh, yeah, it's, it's actually underclocking less, as you can see, because the minimum power state is at zero percent. Uh, the reason that's actually at twenty to thirty percent CPU usage is because I'm actually using my HD PVR2 to record this. Um, yeah, if, if actually if you're interested in watching the unboxing for that i actually have another video on my channel just type in hd pvr2 and you should find it anyway that's going to be the end of this video guys i've showed you how to underclock your um, processor on windows 7 and on vista they're near enough the same so i don't really need to show you on vista but yeah they're near, near enough the same if you are wondering how to do it on xp or on other older kind of platforms like that i hope you don't have older ones than xp but yeah, uh, you should find them somewhere on the internet, but it's um, yeah you will not you will need to go into the BIOS for that. It's pretty more advanced. It's a little bit more advanced, but it's not as advanced as overclocking. So overclocking, well, in my that is advanced. Um, but yeah, if if you don't want a guide on overclocking, um, put a few comments in in the description, and I'll show you how to overclock. Be nice and simple. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching up to now. Please feel free to like, comment, and also subscribe. Thanks for watching. As again.